This is the Nikon D3500 and in this video we need to talk about ISO. When you press the menu button in the photography tab, down here you have ISO sensitivity settings. When you click on it, there is this auto ISO sensitivity. So if you turn it on, then the camera will be changing the ISO. When you change the aperture, the camera will keep changing the ISO to make sure that your image is correctly exposed. This marker here is what shows that the image is correctly exposed. But then you will end up using a very high ISO. To some extent, you might have an unusable image as a result of using extremely high ISO beyond the capabilities of this camera to give you a clean image. Because from my user experience, beyond ISO 800 on this camera, the image starts depreciating in quality so you might need to turn ISO sensitivity off when doing that and then you can see right now previously when I was using this camera I had set it to ISO 800 so to change the ISO you need to press the I button uh, in normal menu, you press the I button, then you can see this ISO here, and you can select your ISO accordingly. Normally, I don't go beyond ISO 800, and this, this 800, I use it for video. For photos, I use between 200 and 100, either of the two. In rave view mode, likewise you press the I button and here you will find the ISO. But if that is not giving you the image that you want, you could as well go to menu and use the auto ISO until you are comfortable setting your ISO as you prefer. And that is how you, you change the ISO in Nikon D3500. Have a nice time. See you in the next video. JM Photography Cation Image